uh, a small introduction for him. Uh, he is uh, he has done his B.Tech in IT. Then he did his M.A. in Sanskrit. Uh, after that, he studied for three years under His Grace Kopi Parandhan Prabhu, who was pro who was a, pro who was pro a disciple. He's no more with us, but a very erudite scholar in scriptures, Shri Prabhupada books. And under him, he has studied for more than three years at Govardhan. Living itself at Govardhan is such a huge thing. And for three years, he studied there. He teaches Shrimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita in English and Tamil language. Uh, he trains corporate uh, corporates in core BG principles, and that's his livelihood. He lives only by giving scriptures, sharing scriptures, discussing scriptures, and that's how he... Uh, his wife and daughter, Mataji and daughter, have not come here. <laughs> they, are, they are at NVCC. Uh, he's spending some time here with us. His Gajaraj personally requested him to come uh, to uh, Pune, give his association to all of us here. Uh, during lockdown, uh, I, I heard from Rajeshampu that during lockdown, he especially started so many programs where Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam uh, could be discussed. Uh, thousands of people are attending his online Bhagavatam courses now, and they have already reached the ninth canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam all through the lockdown last two years. So let us welcome his guest Bhamshu Prabhu with us by loudly chanting three times Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Ah, 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 Koruna hoi be samsara basana mora kabe tu chahabe. Vishaya Charya Kabhe Shuddha Abhe Mana Kabhe Hamahe Ribo Shri Vrindavana Rupa Raghunada 
পে হইবে আকুতি পাবে হামা ভুঞ্জ বসে যুগালা পিরিতি নমো ভগবতে ওম নমো ভগবতে ওম নমো ভগবতে সত্যানন্দচিন্ত সক্তেকে ধর্মাধ্যক্ষে ভক্তিরক্ষাধি দক্ষে শ্রী গোবিন্দে বিশ্বসর্গাধি কন্দে পূর্ণানন্দে নিত্যমাস্তাম মথির্মে অজ্ঞানীরথিরুপৈতিশেষম ভক্তি পরাপভসতি পরিপোষমুচ্ছৈ তত্ম পরম স্ফুরতি দুর্গমম্যপ্যজশ্রম সৎকুণ্যপৃৎস্বরচিত প্রণমামি গীত গৌরাম সুগসৎকুমদ প্রমোধি স্বাভিকয়া গোস্তমো নিহন্ত শ্রীকৃষ্ণচৈতন্যসুধানিধর্মে মনোদিষ্টন স্ফরতি করোত প্রাচীনবাচ সুবিচার্য সোহম অগ্নি গীতামৃতলেশলিপ্সু এত প্রভোরেব মদেত তত্র সন্তক্ষমধ্বম শরণাগত নমো বিষ্ণুপায় কৃষ্ণপ্রেষ্ঠায় ভূতলেশ্মতে ভক্তিবেদান্তস্বামী নামিনে নমস্তে সারস্বতী দেবে গৌরবাণী প্রচারিণে নির্বিশেষ শূন্যবাদী পাশ্চাতেশতারিণে জয় শ্রীকৃষ্ণচৈতন্য প্রভু নিত্যানন্দ শ্রী অদ্বৈত গদাধর শ্রীবাসাদি গৌরভক্তবৃন্দ হরে কৃষ্ণ হরে কৃষ্ণ 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 হরে 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 রাম হরে রাম 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 হরে হরে এবং তৎ প্রবিশ্যাচ মাম প্রসুপ্ত সঞ্জীবিয়ক্তিধরস্বদা অন্যাম তহস্তরণশ্রবণত্বগাদীন প্রাণান নমো ভগবতে পুরুষায় তুভ্যম পান্তস্মান পুরুহূত বৈরিবলবন মাতঙ্গমাদ্যদ্ঘট কুম্ভোচ্ছাত্রিপাটনাটু প্রত্যেকবজ্রায়তা শ্রীমৎকণ্ঠীরবাস্যপ্রতকর ধারিদ্রাতিদূর প্রধ্বস্তান্ত প্রোদিতমনস ভাবিতা ভূরি ভাগৈ হরে কৃষ্ণ Thank you very much for inviting me and also giving me this opportunity to speak on this on a very auspicious day of Lord Nityananda Prabhu's appearance day. So even though I have no qualities, but just because of devotee's mercy, this vehicle is running. Yogi Atta Vichare, Kichuna Hipai, Tomara Karuna Sara. So in this way, because of all of you, I'm able to speak something or discuss or be in this krishna consciousness because of devotees association so i'm very grateful for that and today we'll discuss something about uh, nityananda prabhu and his tatva so we say today is very auspicious day what is very auspicious about it nityananda prabhu appeared maybe 500 few years before 
So he appeared there and then now we are celebrating his appearance day. What is big auspicious thing in this? The auspiciousness is that we have begun our uh, spiritual life. That is our auspiciousness. Our auspiciousness, our auspiciousness starts with our understanding of that we are not this body, we are spirit soul. When we have this understanding, then our auspiciousness starts. Otherwise, everything else is inauspicious. So, uh, Bhagavad Gita, in the 15th chapter, Krishna speaks about a very beautiful uh, thing. He says, Narupama seha tato palabhyate nanto na chadir na chasam pratishta ashvattame nam suviruda moolam ashanga shastre na dhride na chitva. He says, this samsara, this uh, whole material samsara, it's Narupama seha tato palabhyate. It is very difficult to find out its root. When it has started, where it is going to end, nobody knows. But this tree has to be cut down. How to cut down? Then he says, Ashvattamenam suvirodha moolam asanga sastrena dhridena chitva By means of asanga shastra, by means of a weapon called asanga, means detachment. By means of Tyaga. Huh? So, with this Asanga Shastra, we can Dhridayana Chitva, with strong, determined mind, what we can do? We can cut this material world. Uh, it is a little bit contradictory because Krishna says this Samsara Chakra, this Samsara world is eternal. And then in the later part of Shloka, he says this has to be cut down. How can you cut down which is eternal? Then we should understand, yes, it is eternal because this material world will keep on producing, will keep on maintaining and will keep on uh, getting destroyed. But for us, those who have understood the nature of this material world, for him, this tree is cut down. Otherwise, uh, this material world is eternal and we are also eternal. We are going to come back again and again. Ponarapi jananam, ponarapi maranam, ponarapi janane, chattare shainam, ihasam sare, bhagudut sare, kripaya pahe pahi murare. We will be again and again roaming in this material world. But once if we understand the real philosophy behind this material world, then we don't have to come back to this material world. So here the main thing is ashanga shastra. That is the weapon of detachment. So who gives that weapon of detachment? Just now we have sung this song, Gauranga Boli Tehabe, Pulaka Sharira. In that he says, Vishaya Chariya Kabe, Shuddha Habe Mana. So in that we can understand who gives us strength to get detached from this material world. It is only by Nitai Chander, Ara Kabe, Nitai Chander, Karuna Hoibe, Samsara, Bashana Mara Kabe Tuchahabe. By means of Lord Nityananda Prabhu's mercy, we get strength for this detachment and we can come out of this Vishaya, uh, Chariya. Uh, what is it? Uh, samsara, Bhashana. This smell, this stinking smell of Samsara. Like uh, we were coming to this uh, place and the whole place is stinky. I was thinking, my God, uh, where, where is where is center here? Because Wherever you see, places are just stinking, stinking around. So bad smell. But in the midst of this bad smell, we have a beautiful place here, like Vrindavan, like Goloka. So this is how this material world, this material world is full of stinky. Wherever you see, you have Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Mada, Matsarya. And wherever you see, People are nasty, and we come up, we come across with so many nasty qualities also. But when we come here, we all feel something different, and we feel our mind is broadened up, and we feel yes, we can also have a good life. But when we are outside, we are hopeless. We are difficult. It's very difficult to not to get uh, involved in the three modes of material nature when we are outside. As soon as you go outside of this place immediately starts stinking, correct? But when you are here, you are happy. So, that's why we should be always in devotees association. Then we can move away from the stinkiness of this material world. This is Bhashana. Bhashana means the impression or the smell or the fragrance. So, uh, 
Lord uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he comes down to this world to save this, uh, this fallen conditioned souls. But how he does that? He does that through his, uh, through his uh, energies. Uh, so, he brings all his devotees when he comes down to this world and he performs Leela and he gives each and every devotee some responsibility to take care of this. So, Lord Nityananda Prabhu appeared today in Eka Chakra Dham, maybe uh, 500 years before. Hadai Pandit and Padmavati uh, for the couple. And then, uh, as I can see Balaji here, I remember a very beautiful shloka from Suprabhata. It says here that uh, uh, Shri Vaikunta Viraktaya Swami Pushkarani Tate Ramaya Ramanaya Venkateshaya Mangalam. Maybe you all heard about Suprabhatam, right? You all know Suprabhatam. Suprabhatam is a, a beautiful shloka, a beautiful song sung in the early morning in, in Tirupati at least. So this Suprabhatam is given by Vishwamitra Rishi when Rama and Lakshmana, when they were going with uh, Vishwamitra, he, wants to, he wanted to wake up and then the Suprabhata appeared. So it's a beautiful uh, prayer for the Lord to wake him up. And that in that prayer, a very beautiful shloka comes. He says here, that Shri Vaikunta Viraktaya Swami Pushkarani Tate Ramaya Ramanaya Venkateshaya Mangalam. Lord comes down to this world. Why? Out of frustration. Where he is frustrated. Shri Vaikunta Viraktaya. He is frustrated in Vaikunta. He is frustrated in spiritual world. Why? What is frustration there? We say, Yad Gatvanade Vartante Tadha Paramamma. That place is the most happiest place. And there is no there is no misery. But it is said here, Lord is you know frustrated in the spiritual world. Why? What can be a frustration there in the spiritual world? Then they explain that uh, you know now almost we have sunlight. So during this sunlight, if you keep a lamp, if you start a lamp, does it have any use? No. But lamp, when you keep it in darkness then it has use. Similarly, the Lord's main quality. What can be the Lord's main quality? What do you think? What is the main quality of, a Lord, of the Lord? Why we approach Lord? Lord has all kinds of qualities. He is Bhagavan, He has Aishwarya, Samagriya, Viri, Ashasha, Shriya, Jnana, Vairagi. He has all these qualities. But still, these qualities doesn't attract there is only one quality which attracts everyone towards Lord. Yes, mercy. Bhakta Vatsalya Tvar Karuna. So this mercy is with the Lord and it is in abandoned quality. And he doesn't know where to give this quality. Because in Vaikuntha, in spiritual world, everybody is liberated. Correct? He doesn't have to give this mercy to anyone. Everyone is already free from all kinds of distress. So this mercy is getting stored inside, getting stored inside, getting stored inside and doesn't know where to get out. It doesn't have the place to go out. So Lord is frustrated. What is the use of having my mercy here? I'm not able to give this mercy. So he's frustrated. Shri Vaikunta Viraktaya. So where mercy can be given? Like light. Huh? Where light should be given? When there is a darkness and light is there, there is usefulness. Similarly, this world is full of darkness. Correct? So Lord comes down here to give his mercy. That's why Lord comes here. So that's why we say, when Lord comes here to this world, he, he, he's, he proclaims that he, I come for this, I come for that, but that are all not the reason. He says, Dharma samstha panarthaya paritranaya sadhunam vinashasha duskritam. Is it really true? Krishna says, but this is not true. He says, paritranaya sadhunam, to protect devotees, no devotees will ask for Lord's protection. No devotees will cry, please save me, please save me. Prahala did not ask. He was very peaceful. So Lord doesn't have to come to protect devotees. Devotees are already protected. And Lord doesn't have to come here to kill the demons. He can just sit there and he can say, okay, they let this demon get destroyed. They will get destroyed. But why Lord comes down? To show his mercy towards us. Like a prince, like a prince is going with his father on a Nauka Yatra. Nauka means boat, right? So on a boat he is going. So this prince is playing around and then suddenly he falls in the river. Now king has so many soldiers. He can say, hey, get inside and save the child. 
he can do that but what king will do he will jump himself if he just tells okay go and get my child he can be a good king but he cannot be a father when he comes down himself picks him picks the child then he can be called as a father similarly lord when he wants to proclaim this fallen conditioned souls he he comes himself to show uh, his mercy to show uh, his love towards us in a similar way lord comes down here to this material world to give his mercy so what is his mercy what's the mercy of the lord in this material world his mercy means to give us knowledge that is real mercy krishna comes down and then uh, now we speak about krishna so what we understand about krishna what we understand from krishna we are not going to able to understand krishna's rasa leela it's not for us but we understand from krishna's bhagavad gita about our position about lord's position about how we have to reach that lord and why we are not able to reach that lord and after reaching the after reaching that lord what i am going to get so these five things are called as real knowledge so lord comes down to this material world to go, to give us this light in this world of darkness we say om agyana timirandasya gyana anjana chalakaya chakshur unmilita mena tasmay shri gurave namaha this world is like a full of darkness so guru comes and what he does there are two analogies given one is to give light the second one is he makes us to open our eyes so why these two analogies are given it's a very interesting analogy because today is nityananda prabhu's appearance and nityananda prabhu is the guru tatva so chaitanya mahaprabhu comes here to give us a krishna prema but to understand that krishna prema it is said here in the in the song itself if you want to understand that shri brindavana yugala uh, Uh, avatars uh, yugala leela of radha and krishna first of all what we should do we should come out of this ignorance mm-hmm. if you are in proper uh, knowledge then we can enter inside uh, lots uh, knowledge lots uh, leelas otherwise it's not possible so first of all we approach guru tatva from him we get knowledge and um, from there we go to the higher knowledge about krishna's knowledge so first of all knowledge about us knowledge about the soul then knowledge about the lord this how bhagavad gita proceeds if you see in bhagavad gita in the beginning of bhagavad gita krishna did not say sarva dharman parityajya mam ekam sharanam he says dehi nosmi nita dehi kaumaram ebanam jara he starts speaking about the uh, knowledge of the soul and then why we are not able to understand ourselves why we are not able to get this knowledge about the soul then he says eshate bhibhyate sankhe anybody knows this shloka eshate bhibhyate sankhe buddhi yoga mimam shruno buddhyayuktayah partha karvabandham prahasyasi he says now i have explained to you about the soul analytical study of the soul but it is not very easy to understand the soul then how to understand the soul why i am not able to understand the soul why i am not able to realize that i am the spirit soul why because he says karmabandham prahasyasi because we are in this karma bandhana like it is said vishaya chariya so vishaya chariya karma bandhana both are similar so because of this karma bandhana because of this bad vasanas we are not able to understand we are not able to realize that we are spirit soul so what we should do then krishna speaks of nishkama karma yoga then we have dhyana yoga we have ashtanga yoga we have jnana yoga and then krishna brings arjuna slowly but there is another way also what is the other way that's the easiest way surrender unto your guru and then what he does he helps you to come out of this agyana so this agyana and jnana both are both goes together let we say maya and krishna maya means like a darkness and krishna means just like a light what is that shloka in chaitanya charitamrita krishna surya sama maya hi antakar we all know this shloka but there is a interesting aspect in this shloka it is said here krishna is just like a sun is like a light and maya is just like a darkness so when there is a krishna there is no maya when there is maya there is no krishna yes this we understand but if you uh, if you just think about this shloka more then definitely you will come up with a question anybody can come up with some question from this 
okay see now we have light here this room is full of light so there is no darkness correct and then there is one small room there is no light there is only darkness we can segregate correct we can divide this room is full of darkness this room is full of light we can divide but can you divide a place in this world where there is no krishna and only maya and only maya there is no krishna can we have some place like that in this world do we have any place where krishna doesn't exist yes no ishavasam idam sarvam ekkincha jagatyam jagat then he says also uh, uh, that avyakta i am i am i am in the maya tad idam sarvam jagat avyakta murtina mastani sarva bhutani na chaham tesha vastita na chamastani bhutani pashyame yogam aishwaram bhuta brinna cha bhutasto mama atma bhuta bhavana so ityadi shlokas they describe krishna as everywhere so how do you understand that means both darkness and light are coexisting together correct yes how can you understand this both darkness and light are together how can we how can we understand this both darkness and light are existing together no when you are under the sun you move away here and there but sun is sun it's always on up above you yes when you close your eyes just close your eyes you can see when you close your eyes it's complete darkness you don't see anything even though we are sitting in the midst of light as soon as you close your eyes you don't see anything so in the similar way when you open your eyes you can see everything around so in the similar way in this material world krishna is everywhere but if you are not able to see krishna then we see maya if you are able to see krishna then we don't see maya that's how we we should understand from isha upanishad isha avasyam idam sarvam yakincha jagatyam jagat krishna is everywhere when you start seeing krishna everywhere you don't see this material world when you see this material world you don't see krishna vasudeva sarvam iti samahatma sudurlabah bahunam janmanam ante gyanavan mam prapatyate vasudeva sarvam iti samahatma sudurlabah so he is mahatma who one who sees krishna everywhere so what mahatma does mahatma anastu mam partha దైవీం ప్రకృతి ఆశ్రితా భజంతి అనన్య మనస భూత జ్ఞాత్వా భూతాదిమ వ్యయం సో వెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ నాలెడ్జ్ దెన్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ ఇన్ మాయా వెన్ యూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ నాలెడ్జ్ దెన్ యు ఆర్ ఇన్ మాయా అండ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ఇట్ నాలెడ్జ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ కృష్ణస్ ప్రజెన్స్ ఎవ్రీవేర్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ కృష్ణ ఈజ్ ద ఎంజాయర్ కృష్ణ ఈజ్ ద ఓనర్ అండ్ కృష్ణ ఈజ్ ద డూవర్ ఆల్సో సో దిస్ ఇస్ రియల్ నాలెడ్జ్ so this three things is considered as knowledge in bhagavad gita so we are not the owner we are not the doers and we are not the enjoyers if we have this three things in your mind then we are considered to be in a proper uh, knowledge and whatever we do it doesn't give us karma bandha karmanya vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadashana ma karma phalahe durbor ma te sangosthu karmani this is the understanding of the shloka so now we have gita class huh? so anyway so i came here we are supposed to be speaking about la nityananda prabhu and what we can speak about nityananda prabhu yes nityananda prabhu has done so many leelas yes but what it has to do with me correct so according to my perception nityananda prabhu is the person who helps us to come out of this ignorance you see we are close we are closing our eyes and we are thinking we are in maya we are in maya and then someone has to come and hey get up oh okay i'm not okay there is no problem actually when you close your eyes then you have different kinds of dream you are in a different imaginary world and you are suffering you are enjoying both are suffering actually the enjoyment and suffering in your dream is both are suffering because nothing is actually existing so in the dream you have so many problems and you are shouting you are crying you are in anxiety you are in depression somebody has to come and tell prabhu ji get up then you any oh no suffering actually i am in ashram this happened so many times for me and i'm sleeping then i have this max exam max semester exam i am so afraid just uh, our gopi pranadana prabhu used to tell he is a big scholar he is a pure devotee but he used to tell i don't want to come back to this material world why because of afraid of exam <laughs> he says this exam is too much just to avoid this exam i don't want to come back to this material world these exams are horrible so sometimes 
we used to sleep and then in the morning time in like 3 3:30 we get this bad dream we have max exam i didn't prepare anything i'm looking at the sum and then bus came i am get inside the bus and even while uh, going in the bus i'm revising just entering in before the exam hall i'm revising just throw the book went inside saw the question paper everything is gone i i did, uh, whatever i know it's not there so you are in so much anxiety and then somebody comes hari bol get up for mangal aarti then you wake up then you see <sighs> so much relief right you are not in ex- you don't have any exam you are not in college you don't have to give exam what you have to do just take bath sing hari bol correct go inside and then sing such a relief hmm? but when you are in this tension you are completely involved you feel yes you have this problem you are suffering you have you you can you can feel the suffering also you can feel the perspiration around you everything looks real but as soon as you get up from this immediately what happens immediately liberation comes so liberation doesn't take long time just fraction of second is enough like i have given the same example the room is full of darkness it is full of darkness for hundreds of years the room was closed down and it for hundreds of years it was completely in darkness and then some, somebody brings a light inside the room how much time it takes to light a room just as soon as you lit the lamp room becomes completely uh, light you cannot argue how is it possible the room was dark in darkness for hundreds of years just by one light how it can get uh, uh, light no similarly we are in this darkness we are in this samsara chakra for millions of years but what one point of time when we come in connection with devotees and this one point of time when our knowledge gets awakened this fraction of second is enough to give us liberation so that's why it is said sadhu sangha it's very important even lava matra sadhu sangha it's enough just fraction of second you may have seen devotees we may have seen devotees just one time and from this one time onwards our sukriti starts growing our agyat sukriti starts growing and this becomes our journey for our spiritual life so from there our journey starts and uh, slowly our ignorance starts removed from us so in a similar way to give this light or to use this ashanga shastra that is the weapon of detachment we have the weapon we may have the weapon that is knowledge krishna says this knowledge is considered as weapon in the end of third chapter krishna speaks about evam buddhe param buddhva samstabhyatmanam atmanah jahi shatrum mahabaho kama roopam durashatam he says evam buddhe param buddhva with the help of supreme knowledge transcendental knowledge what you can do you can cut this attach deta- this attachment or attachment to this material world and you can get out of this world yes we have the knife sometimes we bring knives it's not cutting it's not getting cut knife is there you have object to cut but it's not getting cut why because knife is not sharp correct so similarly we may have knowledge but if it is not blessed by guru then that knowledge will not give you any any kind of use it was it's like a karna's knowledge karna he had a knowledge but he did not have the mercy of guru parashurama then what happened his knowledge became useless but you can see krishna he went to sandipani muni he did not study anything he, he there was some goshala and he was take, he was playing around in goshala that's how he likes he was playing around goshala and then he learned 64 days 64 hours he learned and then he comes to guru he says sandipani muni please give your blessing because of your blessing only my knowledge will remain intact who is praying lord is praying to show us that without guru's mercy it is impossible for us to understand anything spiritual and even if you understand it is impossible for us to practice in our spiritual life so today is a very important day not only today every day every moment it is not that okay today we have nityananda rajasi and let us everyone worship to glorify nityananda and then tomorrow some other program and everybody glorifies that it's, it doesn't work like that every day we should think about everyone every day we should have you cannot you cannot you cannot uh, uh, survive just by just because of injections correct when you are diseased you give injection but normal days what we do we eat normal food and by means of normal food we survive 
similarly all these festivals are just like injection uh, to give us more boost uh, to remember them to understand them to glorify them but these injections are not enough we should have regular proper meals in the similar way every day ashastri sandhya vande guru ashri charana ravindam we should remember about our guru his mercy and we should serve him all the time so in this way <coughs> if we remember every day in our sadhana in our uh, in our bhakti then we can get his mercy so today being nityananda prabhu's appearance day what we can pray to him is that give me the strength give me the strength so that with this uh, whatever i am practicing i can practice it more uh, powerfully i can practice it more purely that is also necessary when you practice more uh, purely more straight forward then the medicine has effect so that is possible only by lord nityananda prabhu so lord comes here to give himself to receive that lord we need to understand uh, about ourselves and we need to get out of this ignorance so this ignorance can be cleared or can be destroyed only by means of lord nityananda prabhu's uh, mercy so that's why we say om agyanate mirandasya gyanan jana chalakaya so what guru does he makes us to open this eyes and he's telling please see here and then he gives this lamp of light so that we can come out of this ignorance asatoma sadgamaya tamasoma jyotirgamaya mrityoma amritam gamaya it's a upanishad statement if you want to stay in light what you should do stay in light don't go in the darkness so until you are in the light you not you know you will not be affected by darkness similarly until we are in the connection with the guru's instruction then we will not be disturbed by darkness so the main thing is we should follow guru's instruction if we follow guru's instruction then we are out of darkness that is the definition for dhira krishna speaks about dhira satrana mukhyati in the beginning of bhagavad gita so who is dhira dhira one who is not acting according to his own vasanas but he acts according to the guru's instruction and based on shastra so this is the uh, definition for dhira because krishna says if you understand the soul if you have the knowledge about the soul then you are called dhira so how to become dhira like dhruva maharaj he he was disturbed when his father uh, uh, gave him the uh, trouble so he got angry and he he was having this revenge mood so what happened suddenly he met narada and after meeting narada he followed shastra and his vasanas get purified he could have lots darshan and in the way he got liberation so in the similar way in the in this life in this material life our karma vasanas are coming in so many ways in so many different situations so what prakriti does it always gives us some situations in this world we are all put into some situations that's how karma works so we are in this situation now we should decide how i am going to react whether i am going to react based on my vasanas previous vasanas or i am going to follow my guru's instruction dhruva maharaj he had kshatriya vasana so because of the kshatriya vasana he immediately started having this feeling of revenge he had this anger so what happened he was going along with vasana then he met narada and narada convinced him he purified him he follow, he gave him the path of shastra he followed shastra his vasanas get purified he got lots mercy and then he got liberated just think if he has to continue his vasanas he did not meet devotees he is not going to follow shastra then what will happen he will have he will be having this anger and then starts doing revenge and again samsara so this is how we should understand in this material world we are put into so many situations so in this situation how we are going to react whether i am going to follow my guru's instruction follow shastra and uh, to please him i am going to follow i am going to do my activities or i am going to do according to my three modes of material nature my vasanas and again come back to this material world so we should make this choice if we make this choice that yes i am going to follow uh, spiritual instruction then we need help and who can help us only lord balarama can help us so krishna he expands himself as lord balaram and from balaram we have five other expansions we have mahavishnu we have karana kshira garbha and sheshashai so these five expansions are coming from balarama and same balarama balarama hoilonitai that same balaram in this kali yuga 
he comes down as lord nityananda prabhu so nityananda prabhu is even more merciful than lord chaitanya mahaprabhu because he first of all gives us a chance to get out of this ignorance and he gives us connection towards lord chaitanya mahaprabhu and from him we can understand the higher pastimes of radha and krishna and we can enter inside that pastime so i am not uh, much qualified to speak about the internal pastimes or uh, qualities of lord nityananda prabhu as a sadhaka we can understand this much that first of all we should get out of our vasanas we should come back to our original position from this original position we can start doing our devotional service brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kankshati samas sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim labate param krishna says from this point of time my bhakti starts from which point when you understand when you realize when you start acting in the platform of soul brahma bhuta prasanna atma when you understand when you realize that i am spirit soul yes i should serve krishna only then from that position our devotional service starts so this we can pray to lord nityananda prabhu today that yes i should understand my position i should get out of this ignorance i should have the strength to practice this devotional service more strongly more purely so that i can able to i can assist in lord chaitanya mahaprabhu's mission so i'll end here shri nityananda prabhu avirbaha maha mahotsav ki jai shila prabhupad ki jai so if you have any questions or comments you can ask and uh, sorry uh, you have called me maybe thinking that i am going to speak about lord nityananda but i am not uh, that much well versed in uh, the leelas of lord nityananda prabhu even though in chaitanya charitamrita we have and you may have heard so many past times of lord nityananda how he has delivered jagai and madai and how he has broken lord chaitanya mahaprabhu's danda and there are so many hundreds of nectarian past times but uh, this what i was thinking to talk today so i can it's a very uh, great opportunity also for me to speak in the early morning itself otherwise if you have not invited me what i will be doing i will be roaming around the chanting this and look, looking around the nvcc campus and how this flower is there oh what i what they are doing and how they are watering the plant i will be roaming around but since you gave me a chance now i am able to talk about the lord and i get the sukriti of all your blessings also i will end here and i thank also kanaya takur prabhu that uh, he mercifully invited me so you're all in a good hands huh? i can see that i am coming from madurai so i came actually here to take association hmm? because i am frustrated there huh? sitting and giving studying and giving class sitting giving studying class in online i don't see any devotees i sit in front of camera i have to talk hmm? and i have to laugh also sometimes devotees they come and prabhu ji in the in the middle of lecture you can laugh also a little bit to whom i have to laugh uh, in the seeing camera i have to laugh uh, how how can you laugh you know seeing the camera hmm? so i was frustrated at two years sitting inside the room like potato and getting boiled so i thought okay let us go outside where to go hmm? maybe to govrindavan mayapur this is a big place where we don't get personal association but i was somehow or other hmm? that's what we say you know? by good fortune hmm? by divine arrangement hmm? uh, this bhagavatam what i was talking it it was uh, going through many channels and then uh, our radhesham prabhu sisters they were hearing hmm? it's my fortune and they were hearing that and they were uh, giving results to radhesham prabhu they were telling okay prabhu ji he is giving tamil class and uh, nice tamil class you hear you hear then prabhu ji called me hey you are giving tamil class i heard yes prabhu ji you know I, to get call from radhesham prabhu it's a big thing and he is asking hey, you are giving nice class i heard then what else you need was prabhu ji it's your blessing then we are in touch for some time and then i ask okay let us go here because i heard about pune i heard about devotees community and association i wanted to see personal experience also so i asked prabhu ji he said yes you can come i said prabhu ji i am coming only for taking association i will attend all the temple programs i will hear lecture so this is this is my idea he said yes yes you come come then i come here and the next day itself this class that class here program that program so he mercifully somehow or other engaged me otherwise what i will be doing i will be in maya Uh, thinking that i will take association and i will be uh, pure sadha i will be chanting 64 rounds no it's not possible for our level we should be always engaged and devotees they know how to engage us so what we should do just surrender ourselves to some devotee and just follow that's a that's a instruction in bhagavad gita krishna spoke everything then he asked what are going to do arjuna is like blinking what i am going to do uh, then he doesn't know what to do then itaiche tata guru whatever you want to do you do krishna left him like that no he did not leave him then he said i am going to tell you something more secret 
again krishna started this is how krishna starts he sees arjuna's face arjuna is little dull and he says okay okay arjuna i'm going to tell you very more secret knowledge please hear very carefully then arjuna oh yes we're going to tell something okay then again in the end of 18th chapter krishna spoke so many things again he sees arjuna's face any change he is going to fight or not hmm? arjuna is like that hmm? he is still same he has shown even vishwarupa after showing vishwarupa also arjuna did not wake up after showing vishwarupa he says i am kalarupa get up and fight i have killed everyone you, you have to fight even he has terrorized him but he was not ready to fight at the end of 18th chapter he says what are you going to you do then krishna again said i am going to tell you something more secret what he says before that manmana bhav mat bhakto madhya ajima namaskuru then he sarva dharman parityajya mam ekam sharanam braja then he says now what do you want to do then arjuna says karishya vachanam tava krishna whatever you say i will do so that is the that is the utmost understanding of bhagavad gita that we should come to this point just surrender ourselves to a devotee or to our guru and tell whatever you want to do i am ready to do that so this how we should surrender and you are all in a very good hand we have radha shyam prabhu we have kanai takur prabhu here so we are all in good hand we don't have to think too much we are just like this flower garlands so if if this flower garlands goes to a karmi what he will do he will take and he will give it to his wife if this flower garland comes to a devotee what he will do he will offer it to the lord so give yourself to some devotee and he will offer you to the lord not to some karmis like prabhu passes at least give this one life to krishna we have given this life so many lifetimes to so many people no you still we are here in this material world correct if they have utilized us properly we could have already gone to liberation but they did not use us properly but at least this life if we can give ourselves to krishna to devotees then they can use us properly then they can make us away to achieve the lord okay thank you very much hari krishna let us thank his grace from shudar prabhu for early morning missing his nvcc you know experience and coming all the way <laughs> so let us thank him by chanting one time hare krishna maha mantra hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare thank you very much so prabhu just to immediately leave back for nvcc devotees are expecting him there